Okay, I finally opened now this Dialux ebook file. It's really huge. That's why it takes time to open. So now I use this Dialux Evo 11 for this project and look at that. I just show you something. It's really huge landscape lighting design development. And uh, a good thing is uh, my computer is really powerful so it can, it can hold this kind of huge project. Actually, there's a revision on this one so I need to make a revision uh, later after this video making. Okay, so yeah, aside from the banner that you saw previously in my previous video, uh, when you open the Dialux Evo, you can see that the, the, the update for this Dialux Evo 11 is when you select the luminaire, you can see now this, these thumbnails are, look at that, the history is there and also the, the logo or the brand is there in your selection. So you can see right now that I have Thorn and Philips. And also you can go and check here this go to loom search so when you click this one it will go directly to the loom search website remember the loom search that we used when we select our luminaire if we don't know what kind of brand or fittings that we want to use so that is there and what else do we have so aside from this one say for example if you click it yeah you can also press this send inquiry directly to the website of the product or the brand and I think there are some here that, um, okay, so if we click this one, there are also a new thumbnails, little thumbnails at the top. And if you click, for example, show only, uh, uh, only emergency luminaire. So if you click this one, okay, so I only used uh, one emergency fitting for this project. And this is the one. And say, for example, click only uh, show only luminaires that is used in this project and then yeah it will filter and also it will show you the quantity of the fitting say for example i have 11 pieces of this one and then 12 27 pieces of this and 31 pieces of this so it also show you the quantity of the luminaires amazing right so yeah there are something in here also and if if for example you filter it out just reset all the filters so it will go back to the basic and the history of the luminaires that you used. Okay, so for emergency lighting, this is the update of the Lux Evo 10. So if you select one luminaire and make this one as um, emergency, just press this one. Okay, and what else do we have? Say, yeah, the percentage of the emergency. Yeah, I'm, I remember that I mentioned about the... Uh, some of the LED fittings are not 100% used as an emergency version. So you can now edit it here and not anymore here. Okay, so what else do we have here? So on the other side, you can see on the other side of the screen that uh, there are this, the, the loom source and the light shift is also here as a direct link and also for sure email address when you use, uh, when you log in if you have uh, Dialux Evo Pro and um, yeah so what else how about the road lighting the one we complained uh, uh, before in my previous video so let's go and check that road lighting now all right so we are here now at road lighting so let's go and check that boom length now so I'll just go and create a new road and let's see if we can easily adjust the boom length and the pole distance from the roadway because that is our previous complaint Okay, so let's click this preview button here and let's just insert any luminaire that we have here in our list. And say for example, I will try this Altis. So I'll just go and click and or I'll just, yeah, I will just go and drag and drop similar to what we always did before. And there you go. So say for example, I, let me just add a patchwork so you can see the difference between this, um, between the, the boom length and the distance of the poles on the roadway. So I will add, uh, add a patchwork and then I will move my uh, luminaire on the other side. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I will move my luminaires or my poles um, one meter away from the, uh, the curve and I will put a 0.5 meters length boom length. Let's see how it will goes. 
okay so what i'm going to do is i will put a 0.5 boom length okay and then i will set a distance from the roadway so i'm just going to click this one and i will set this one as one meter okay so i will click it um okay i will type one meter and see what will happen okay so you need, you can see now that the pole adjusted backward and it's one meter precise on the the curve line and the boom length follows like the whole pole including the bracket is adjusted backward unlike before that you need to adjust the overhang instead of the poles and the boom length all right so this is a big um, update from this Dialux Evo 11 now it's now I can say that the road lighting for Dialux Evo 11 is now much easier to use compared to the previous version so Mr. Witzel thank you so much for adjusting this one or updating this one all right so what else do we have for the update so in the newly designed setting the colors of text in the card can be adjusted i think this is, is um i think this is not that um interesting much but in the next video we will try and check that one and also um the lvk view can now be activated for all the luminaires together i think this is the same complaint that we have before like we want to show all the luminaires in one shot like selecting uh the luminaires like lighting up all the luminaires showing the photometric uh curve without uh dragging your mouse and selecting everything um that is the one like in the previous dialux regular version like when you click one button it will open all those uh, lights and it, you will see those uh, curve values or the photometric values on the fittings like it's everything is on or everything is selected so on the next video we will try that one and yeah so yeah see you again on the next video